Hey guys, welcome to the Data Tech channel. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Here we talk about the modern data technologies and perform hands-on practice. Today we're going to talk about the buzzword of 2021 data engineering. So we will be discussing what is it, how it's practiced in the industry, and what skills you need to be a data engineer. So without further ado, let's start. So the first question is, what is data engineering? So in simple word, it's the process of building data pipelines, which enables data-driven decisions. And a person who performs these activities is known as data engineer. But in real world, most of the time, we most of the time the data we receive from various sources is it not in very useful format. So it's the responsibility of data engineer to transform the data into usable condition and add value to it, manage it, productionize the whole process, and finally get the data into a place such as dashboard reports or machine learning models from where business can make their decisions based on the data. So that's like, that's in nutshell what is data engineering and uh, what data engineers do. Now let's how it's practiced in the industry. So from the high level view of data engineering, um, you can, th so this is the high level view of data engineering practices in various organizations. This is a pretty general practice, which is performed in uh, multiple organizations, but it can vary use case to use case. So let's look into this. The first thing of like the first thing which data engineers do is ingest the data from various sources into the data lake and in lake the data stays in its raw format or you can say exactly the same format which is in they have in the application or you like in simple words we can say it's the data which with no transformation exactly a copy from the source so next step uh, of data engineer is to transform the data into usable format by using various ways such as like deduplicating, removing unnecessary fields, joining the relevant data, creating new fields and etc. And finally load into the data warehouse from where the data get into various pipelines such as feature pipeline which is where we get our machine learning models, business intelligence pipeline where dashboards and reporting happen, query engine where any ad hoc reports uh, uh, are taken care and the last will be the other data engineering pipeline that's just to provide the data to the other teams in the organizations and engineers also need to make sure that quality of data while uh, this remains intact from source to destination so for that they need to perform automated data quality checks for consistency, accuracy, completeness, and timeliness. So you can uh, you can look in this diagram, the, the numbers one, two, three. Here, a data engineers need to have automated data checks. And the last piece, they also need to do the governance of the data, which basically means who get the data, who get access to what data, how we manage PIA elements, that's uh, uh, personal information elements such as like your credit card number your telephone numbers and all those data catalog like how um, which capture uh, which uh, keep the record of all the data we have in lake or warehouse and all those retention policies how long we want to store the data and last they have to monitor and provide and have a security layer on each process so now let's look at the skills required to become a data engineer. Uh, so here's a disclaimer. There are some skills which overlap with data scientist and analyst. Since uh, data engineering job is technical and logical in nature, they can perform uh, data science and analyst, uh, uh, analyst jobs as well. While I'll say vice versa, it may not be possible. And it's my opinion. So the first thing is the data. The first skill they need is the data structure. A good data engineer or any data engineer need to understand, have a need to have a good understanding of uh, like tables, schema, databases, data types, relational databases, those kind of things. 
in SQL. As we know, it is one of the most popular query language of all time. They need to know it. Uh, NoSQL is the uh, is the understanding of uh, uh, of NoSQL such as MongoDB, uh, Cassandra, Hatchbase, etc. is very essential nowadays because a lot of modern technology, a lot of modern applications use NoSQL due to its flexi flexible schema. Uh, the next is understanding of data lake and data warehouse and here uh, they need to understand both modern and traditional data warehouse. Tra traditionals are like, a, um, I'll say traditional data warehouses are example MySQL, uh, MS SQL Server, uh, Teradata, DB2, those kinds and modern is which you which you, like which we see a lot of in like our cloud services which is our snaps analytics BigQuery, amazon swift and snowflake and same goes with the data lake too they need to have understanding of for like hdfs that's a hadoop data lake and at the same time they need to understand like amazon s3 uh, google cloud stories and azure uh, data lake gen 2 generation 2 uh, in programming, I'll say Python at the moment is the, um, the highest uh, required skills for a data engineers because uh, if you know Python, like you can work with Py uh, like a Spark 2 in using PySpark uh, and big data. They like, and that's another thing, like, and as we know, data is growing, so they need to understand and they need to know uh, or they need to have a good understanding of the like big data uh, applications to like for example Hadoop is there Apache Spark Hive Apache Kafka and all those Apache Kafka is like a, it helps uh, to stream the real time data so that's like another thing too like uh, having applications or skill sets which uh, are used in the streaming analytics cloud services I mentioned like I mentioned few of them here but uh, uh, like Azure, like Microsoft, Google, and Amazon have other services too. So please check out them. But like if you if you uh, know all these four or like these ones, still you are handy. But there will be always like new technologies for exploring. And last and the, not the least is visualizations. For visualizations, there are multiple tools available in the applications. But I'll say understanding of Tableau, Power BI, Looker, ThoughtSpot, and Quick uh, Click View is give you a like a good hands uh, on data engineering skills uh, so that's pretty much about data engineering hope you guys like the video please subscribe